agreement problems with determiners. Some determiner phrases present choices of agreement. This principally cons concerns the use of none of, either of, neither of, any of, half, and numeral expressions between one and two. For example, one and a half. There are also cases where singular determiners are used with plural numbers. None of. In traditional views of grammar and in more formal styles, more uh, none of plus plural count noun has singular concord with a verb. In such usage, none of is seen as a uh, negated form of one. For example, the other uh, assistants in the sh in the shoe shop seem to manage on their wages. Of course, none of them was supporting a child and the male assistant got 60% more than the women. In every day spoken and written in uh, informal usage, none of plus plural count noun typically has plural concord with a verb. The plural head noun is treated as the notional subject of the verb. For example, none of our children play any musical instruments. Either of, neither of are also used in two ways. Singular concord is more traditional and formal, treating either or neither is referring to one of two individual entities. Plural concord sees either or neither is implying a pair of entities, therefore greater than one from a book about sleeping and dreaming. Dreams of being chased or of flying are also more frequent than one might expect, given that neither of these events happens very frequently in real life. Do either of you play golf? Any of. Uh, variable concord occurs with any of singular concord treats any is referring to an individual entity plural concord can imply either either an individual or several entities uh, or several individual entities for example what right does any of us have to play guard? Do any of you want a ticket for the club dinner? Could, could, uh, could be one of one or more than one individual implied. One. The uh, variability of agreement occurs with expressions involving one. Uh, the phrase more than one is normally followed by a singular head noun and his singular verb concord. For example, but what we have seen as far is that for every job lost, more than one job has been created. You cannot say more than one jobs have been created. However, in more informal uh, spoken styles, plural head nouns and plural verb concord may occur. Informal discussion at a meeting. But there are more than one 
approaches there are many different conflicting approaches yeah but uh, we are just uh, reduced to using any one the expression one and a half is followed by a plural head noun for example that bottle holds about one and a half liters you cannot say one and a half liter however when a or one plus head noun plus and a half is used the head is singular for example the bottle holds one the bottle holds about a liter and a half numerals another not other is used with numerals for example i paid him 50 pounds now we owe him another 50 pounds you cannot say now we owe him other 50 pounds in uh, informal styles singular determiners can occur with plural numerals when they are modified for example let me give you back that 10 pounds of that 10 pounds i owe you that same three milk bottles were still standing on his doorstep after a week expressions such as a good meaning at least that number and a full meaning a complete number may be used with plural numerals it's a good 10 miles or more from here she is a full three years younger uh, than the next child up